What up everybody and welcome to another video and this 15 minute tutorial well not tutorial it's more like like any usual video I'm trying to what the heck is going on um uh, I will be making a burger oh if you guys don't know my name is Renardo but you guys could call me Rainimations or Ray either one uh, I this is a long series of videos where I draw every single day a 15 minute drawing uh, of anything in general and i noticed uh, that i've never gone out of my way to draw food so i thought you know what i need to do draw some food and hope i uh, hope that that actually ends up looking nice i'm actually gonna move my little camera uh like my little screen over to the side yeah that works maybe uh, scale myself down a little for you guys so i'm not in the way Yeah, I'll put myself right on the pure, uh, pure ref, uh, right there, because at least this way you guys can see whether I add new layers or anything. I already have pre-established two layers uh, right here. So one will be for a very a rough sketch and then a rough, uh, like a sketch over sketch, essentially. I'm hoping that I could get both of them done in that small period of time. And like usual, I got this timer this time. To, hey, well, I usually I don't have it prepared, but this time around, I have it prepared. So let's get started. Click on it. Make sure everything's clear. Okay. Yeah. So now that I have my references here, I'm going to be, let me add some light to myself here. I need pure ref to be in this side. Maybe I'll bring my brushes over to this side instead. Yeah, that works. Okay, let's do the burger. I I I put it in the other side this time. The pure ref because of the fact that I noticed that my hand tends to cover up your ref and and this side so i'm using a different brush than usual as you could tell and i'm gonna let's say i do a burger with just cheese so this would be the burger itself it's very rounded everything now the cheese is gonna go like that and it's gonna wrap around like that and that and this side I want it to be kind of like melting a little I want lettuce and I want some of this cheese that's melting to wrap around the lettuce and around the bottom bun and this will be the bottom bun and just like that we got a drawing of a burger. Now, I want to draw different kinds of burgers and, you know, shade it in. You can do this. Uh, drawing food is actually a very simplistic thing to do compared to some uh, some other more intense driven drawings, uh, like a human being or, or something else. Okay, maybe I'll put some seeds on it. Because of perspective, there's got to be a lot more seeds on top and in the edges. I mean, more like for seeds, all you need to do is tap essentially, kind of like if you're drawing stars, but like tap and drag a little, tap and drag. Now they don't all have to be facing the same direction, so I'm just gonna do it some taps and drags to uh, going upwards too, and then some going uh, down. Uh, downwards or different uh, different directions just vary the directions every single time so you do is a, a little what's it called I, i'm calling them seeds right now but they're not really seeds uh now i want the bread to get like this nice burnt texture to it or like a nice shadow to it 
Uh, I want this to also have some sort of shadow. And that, and that. I want this cheese to kind of like be melted and then like pass there. Maybe a, a, a go to the eraser. I, I, I will use the soft eraser this time around because I don't think it does, it takes a lot to erase. A uh, very low opacity uh, brush strokes. And voila, I got a burger. <laughs> if I wanted to draw a <laughs> SpongeBob uh, holding, I could, but I don't want to. Uh, now, what I'm gonna do is edit this so then it's gonna be red. It's gonna be lower opacity. And then I'm gonna go and then just press OK. Try to turn up the opacity just a tiny bit because I can't see it all of a sudden. And then go back with uh, with a different brush. Uh, maybe I'll use my sketching brush. Now this is in a different layer. So, and I'm just sketching over the pre-drawing that I already did. A little bit more detail. Doing thicker lines in some spots by re going over some of it to indicate that these areas are clearly shaded more and then very thin lines around here because that's where the, I want the light to hit it. I want also to have a very hard eraser instead. Of a soft one this time around. Now, if you ever wanted to uh, do a circle or a bun, I mean, in this case, uh, but you know that uh, you need to like uh, that you normally twist the paper. What uh, what you could potentially do is just uh, rotate the canvas. Or rotate your image, or just you know draw the image in a different way. Now the patty is gonna be like that. Maybe I'll have the cheese kind of like that. I want the cheese where it is right now. I like the position I already established for it. Anything I'll just adjust it so it's more visible from the outside. Kind of like if it melted more onto the patty. Yeah, have a, uh, have like little gaps in it. Because the perspective, the sheets is gonna be. Know, like that and the piece connecting kind of like that I don't know maybe it's gonna be like this because it like spread in every direction once it fell and then lines you know erase some of this Yeah, now that burger's looking hella fine. I have no idea how much time there is. I know I, I had the timer set up up here. I should have left it down here. Where I had it before I started the video. You know, I'm refining some of the edges so it looks more rounded. But, uh, but not all burgers are perfectly round. Uh, you know, I'm adding some extra lines. And then the lettuce. I want the lettuce to be kind of like that. Kind of like if it's getting pinched by it. I'm dragged down by the cheese a little. 
It's like if you're drawing leaves or something like that. That looks a lot better. What else? Make the little there lines to give it a sort of curves to add to the letters. Then obviously make it look like it's getting pinched. And now the bottom bun. Sometimes it's better to draw a line with confidence by uh, doing it really quickly. It trains you at uh, your at your hand a little. I'm actually adjusting my body, but instead of uh, going out of my way to a uh, what's it called? Rotate the canvas because the button that I normally will have used for rotating the canvas, I have it set up so it's the button for stopping the recording this time around. And I don't want to, you know, stop the recording at any point. That's starting to look really good. Now that's just a rough drawing. If uh, if I notice that I got like three or four minutes left, uh, I'll see how much coloring I could get done in it. Maybe it will be very simplified coloring. I'll, I'll probably won't put so many seeds. I'm doing them too much in one side, uh, to one uh, direction, and I do different direction this time around. This essentially is kind of like if they get sprinkled on, and then the top is where most of them end up, sort of up here, roughly. So you gotta keep that in mind. The bun is kind of very well rounded. Adjusting some of the lines, you know, cleaning up here and there. That looks really nice. Let me see. Up this side right here. Perfect. That that burger looks like a delicious burger already. All I need is the color. Let's see how much time we have. So uh, we could decide. We got three minutes. See, this? two minutes will have been more than enough. So I do I add another layer and I call this layer color. And obviously I'm not going to do another refinement earlier with much more eh, better lines or something like that. And I'm going to pick this brush right here that I used for the initial everything. And I'm going to see what colors do I already have. I like, I like this skin color that I have preset and I'm just going to color everything here. this brush like that and because of the way that I, uh, the brush I pick if I put more pressure it actually makes it look darker so I can give like a very nice burnt look to the bottom without having to do so much work now this is a really good brush for uh, for when you're ever trying to like blend skin or do some uh, skin color for skin. If anything, what I could do right now is hide the uh, the layer that has all the what's it called? Uh, all the rough sketch, and I gotta move this layer underneath that uh, that drawing. Erase some of it, actually, yeah, uh, go to the soft eraser, and that brush, so then I can always just flip between the two, if I ever need to, see, so I'm just going out of my way, blowing some of it, maybe I'll pick like a, uh, red more, more like,
some of the edges. Mostly this side. Uh, I didn't pick those colors and put them here. Uh, some of them were already there. The only ones I did do uh, in this program that I did, yeah, I went out of my way to pick was these two colors. And one is for sketching and the other one's not. Now I'm going to use the same red that I have right here. I'm using this. So it gives it like a nice sort of burnt kind of look to the bottom. For the meat. That's a base layer for the meat. Base color. Try, uh, let me go faster. Uh, so it doesn't I don't take up a lot of time. And yeah, I just darker sort of thing. It looks too red, so it, I, I probably had to do. Hey, I'm gonna do like a rough pass with a different color. I might have to go in overtime with this drawing, but that should be fine. Maybe I'll pick this one. Mm, yeah, no, actually, like this color. Yeah, that seems more natural for the meat. Yeah, that feels a lot better. It's a very rough drawing. Oh, that's the timer. Like I said, I will be going into overtime. So, yeah, this uh, this is official overtime. Normally, I would edit the. Uh, I would not edit this, but I I feel like I should do something about like overtime. Uh, like every time I do it uh, going to overtime, I should have like uh, it going into time lapse. So you guys don't see me uh, like doing all this cleanup work and all that stuff and waste all your time. Uh, I like this color. It's like a brown, more like that. Yeah, I'm gonna do that color over some of this. Oh, that looks beautiful. That looks really nice already. And then just fade it out. That's a really top. Hard also, and then soft, hard and soft, hard and soft. I'm trying to go really soft around this area. And as soon as I lift up the brush, it, it, it has a much higher chance of it doing like a weird blend that I don't want. So I should pick this color instead. Although I think it's because I did like a mixture of all the colors that it had like this it has like this nice color for the red. See? Yeah. It's all getting covered in shade uh, shadow anyways. Right. So essentially I'm just going over everything here. With this darker color and I'm gonna go for the skin tone that I have previously picked and just go over some of it like the parts that are gonna get lit up and stuff Ooh, that looks awesome already man I'm either really good at this or I'm like decent good at this and I go with this orange on the meat so it has like some sort of light hitting it Ooh, that looks nice. Uh, yeah. I could do all this grill marks and stuff like that, but I don't want to. If anything, I'll just pass this really rough, dark color over some of the meat. Just to darken it up. Because obviously it got toasted. So, I'm passing it over some of it. Maybe put some lines and stuff directional lines kind of like if it was if it got grilled Ooh, that looks like a sausage in between 
I don't know why. It does have like this nice green color. Uh, yeah, I just I'm essentially just using the colors that I already put in place, and then just blending it between them and seeing if if I like it or not. Wow, that's surprisingly much more accurate than I thought. Oh, wait, this is cheese. What am I doing? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go over all of this. You know, press uh, press harder in some of the spots and stuff, and then just uh, go softer in some of the other areas, like the this lit up parts. Ooh, this lettuce is coming out really nicely. I think I'm already past the 20 minute. Oh, yep, I am. Yeah, mark on the video. Hopefully you guys like it. If you guys do, just comment down below and let me know. If you like this sort of thing. Go for a darker green. And... You know, shade some of that. I, I don't want to do too much shading. Oh, I forgot this area right here. I need the lighter green. And boom. Voila. Magic. That, that, that really looks good. Thank you. Yeah, if you guys don't know, that's my girl, uh, my girlfriend, and everything. And uh, let's go for a cheese color. I think I'll, I'll, I'll use this yellow. Ooh, that. Why is that so hard? All of a sudden. Kind of looks like a mustard yellow. Yeah. Maybe you could use it as mustard. That was weird. It's just like for a second, it just like only accepted like very hard presses. I could use it as mustard. She is right. Right now, I'm only using it for cheese because I want like a nice uh, color of yellow. And I already have this color uh, put there, so I'm like, might as well just take advantage of the colors that uh, have been already applied by this application and, and then see how good that uh, ends up looking. Yeah. If it ends up looking really good. I'll be like really, really surprised. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think I'm gonna go for a much different kind of yellow, like much brighter towards, uh, let's see. All right, go here and then click on that. Then bring this there. Then I want it to be lighter and more yellow. Yeah, that works. I want that color. Let's see how, uh, how that looks. Mm. Really nice color, right? Now I want something to shade it with, so I'm just gonna go for more red and uh, no, like more orangey color. The, uh, I would normally use uh, the color. I was gonna use the colors that were already applied, but uh, like already given to me. But I want this sort of, uh, I want an orange because it, it doesn't just take the light from uh, what's it called the bun but it also has all the little burns and stuff from when it got it, it got too hot and it melted and it just started falling all over it you know. and maybe I'll grab like some very bright yellow and then this I'll add like a new layer just gonna be really rough it's gonna be just like that I'm doing is like a very rough lighting around all of this. Like if the light hits it from this side, and I just and then I and I turn down the opacity on it, and then I add use something like a smudge, and it just like sm uh, blend some of this. 
to like it like fades a little. I don't want it to, uh, too well, uh, too refined. I want it to be more blended. Ooh, that looks already really nice. Uh, I think it's too yellow though. And on the plastic maybe? Yeah, I don't want it to be too strong. There's a tiny amount of light. Wow, you guys can't even see the light. So it's kind of fun. Hey, not silly. Hey, can you? Hey, you guys can. That looks nice, right? Yeah, that looks perfect. <laughs> okay, now, uh, now let's add a plate really quickly. That's, that's, and that'll be, I'll call it a day for that. I know I was thinking of adding fries and stuff like that, but I don't feel like doing all the uh, all the extra work. So I'm gonna go back to my sketch layer and draw a really rough plate. Why is this yellow? I don't want a yellow. I want this, and then I want to go to my sketch layer. Mm, a little plate. It's not perfect. I guess the point across is on some sort of plate. And then I go back to the sketch layer and like usual, grab the little pencil tool. It's gonna be sketching really uh, roughly. I don't want oh the plate visible. Uh, I'll very uh, I'll be very careful with some of it. Do some really rough shading. Add some thickness to that plate. Perspective. Make it wider and then make it not so not so wide. Wide and then some thickness. Uh, what else? I'll add that. Actually, I don't think it even needs this portion. Yeah, that looks fine. Add that again. And, you know, like usual, erase the imperfections. That will be my 15 minute drawing of the day. Hopefully you guys liked it. And if you did like it, you know, press like and subscribe for this video. Uh, if you have actually watched all the way to the end, I congratulate you because you're one of the many few that has, you know, stayed through to the whole entire video of watching how this con uh, wall, this burger gets made. Uh, I mean, you could also use this sort of thing, uh, this technique that I just did uh, in the programs also created just study, you know, and it's a free software, uh, open source, like, well, is it open source? Yeah, I think it's yeah, open source means it's open to the public, I think. Yeah. It's kinda like Blender. Uh which is 3D modeling software. Um and like usual, you know, have fun. Oh wow, what why did I <laughs> I just noticed something. I have tomatoes as a reference here, but I did not put tomatoes on this sandwich. You know, I, uh, on this burger, I mean. You know, I think personally the reason why I didn't